Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today as you can see, we are starting a new project. This comes from Fan Cells, I believe. Hang on. I wrote it. It has its own bag. It is 130 by 36 and that is centimeters. Sorry, I got stuck in the bell there. So yeah, what is everybody up to? It's the weekend again. Well, hopefully this weekend will be much better than last weekend. Yeah, because last weekend just sucked big time. But I am feeling better and it's all kind of now a head cold, if you will. So we're surviving. We are surviving. I'm looking for Oh my goodness. I was just cutting off the little fringes. And as you can see, this isn't very uh, wide. You know, it's like, what is that, like 14 inches or something? So, yeah, it's cool. I got my little thing. It's going to have to sit over here. But isn't that a beautiful color? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's part of the background. It is number 340. Man, they make a beautiful single colored like cross stitch. Mm, it's lovely. So I just thought we'd start right here in the corner. Nothing really big and dealy. I'm telling you. So yesterday was something else. Something else. Oh, speaking of yesterday, before I get on to that tangent, hang on just a second. I'll be right back. got a small package yesterday from my friend. I was looking to make sure that I wasn't showing the address. Um, mine's fine. I just don't want to show theirs. From a viewer named Caroline. Thank you, Caroline. Is it Caroline or Car Caroline? Oh, my goodness. I have the worst time with names. Even when I'm looking at them, I just can't. She sent me some um, silicone finger guards, I think. that's I don't know what else to call them. Like thimbles. And it looks like they came in two colors and three different sizes. And she said that she really liked them. Ooh, they're nice and soft. These are nice. And she said that she really liked them. I'm trying to get to the the smallest one here. But, no, that's going to be too small for my finger. I was hopeful. But they do go down lower, you know, so they kind of branch out. And she says she uses two. One on her thumb. And one. These are cool. These are awesome. Thank you. I really, really like them. I'm going to put that back in there. And then I'm going to put this back in here. And we're just going to use these. Well, thank you, Carolyn. Carolyn, Carolyn. I, I can't say Nicola Parkman either. I always get it Nicola or something. Heaven forbid I look at the name. And I know what it is, you know. So help me. So let's try this. Maybe I should have put this. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Hang in there. No, that ain't going to work. It's going to have to go there because that's where that needle is going to end up. Right against that. But yeah, I've never seen these nice thin ones. And I do have some that somebody else sent me that I use periodically. I like these too. And they said they got these from the dollar store. I have no idea where these other ones came from. But I like these. I keep, there's one over, or two, you know, because I lose everything. Over there on my table where I sit and stitch at night. But these are nice and thin. These are pretty cool. And I can't remember where she said, you know, she got them. If they got them on Amazon or... 
or wear, but they are very nice. And I like that it it kind of clings to your finger, but it's not. So you can see how thin it is. It'll move. This is nice. We're going to like this. Very good. And she called them silicone. So, yeah. I, and I don't go looking for uh, thimbles, it, you know, other than the stores that I review. I, oh, at one time did look them up at Amazon. But that's been a coon's age, age ago. Yeah. So, I need a drink. It's one of those days, okay? We're having a day already. Yesterday was whew, unbelievable. So I got up. Thought I was supposed to go to my daughter's house, but I called her and we settled that. And it wasn't anything that, you know, she had planned or that I needed to help her with or anything like that. So I'm like, okay. So then I proceeded to choke down some kind of breakfast. And, uh, hang on. Got to get the the kinks out of my thread. Sorry, we're going to get it together yet. Anyway, I proceeded to tear the refrigerator apart. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's been a hot moment since I did that. I got three trays, or trays, what do you call them? Shelves out of there. And they're glass in this thing. So they're heavy as lead. And I took them into the shower and hosed them down and let them sit there a bit, you know, because some had some stuff spilled on it or whatever, and it was a sticky mess. So did that, and then I put it all back together. And then, let's see what else. I, you know, took all the, the trash from the refrigerator, and then I went through part of the freezer and threw out some stuff that had been in there for ever and ever and a, a day that I didn't need to save. And I found, I found, and y'all are going to just freak, um, what do you call it? Liver. Yeah, I had a package of four pieces of liver. Looked like I just put it in there a week ago because it had no frost on it, nothing. And I don't even remember ever buying it. But, yeah, so I got out two pieces of liver and cooked liver and onions for dinner. I haven't had liver and onions for a very, very long time. Okay, the thumb one's got to go. Because it's breaking my stride here. I just need it to cover... Whoops, went the wrong way. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. <sighs> Try to push it up just a bit. Um, So I had liver and onions last night for dinner. Oh, it was so good. And that liver was so good, it didn't even taste, you know, real strong like some liver taste. Oh, it was really good. Yeah, so I ate that until I was almost sick. But, yeah, liver. Gotta have liver and onions every once in a while. I do like chicken livers, but for some reason, we can't seem to get those at the store at all. I have to, at the last time I wanted some, I order, special ordered them. And they sent them to me, fro not sent them to me, but when I picked them up, they were froze. So I got like three, I don't know, it looks like the small cottage cheese size container. I got three of those and put them in the freezer. Two of them are still there, but I like chicken livers and beef liver. So it makes me feel like I'm getting some irons and vitamins and all that kind of crap. Beef up my blood a little bit. But I usually have really good blood as far as that goes. Now, my mother, she didn't have good blood. 
she was anemic all the time. But not me. I've never been anemic a day in my whole life. So I never got that. Neither did my sister. My mother just had kind of weaky blood. So, yeah. So that was a nice surprise after I'd worked all that. I got the the liver out and then I went and lay down for two hours because I was kind of done after I took the trash to the trash can. And of course, you know, I always go on Friday because that's the day the guys show up and it's empty and it's open. Yeah, no. It was full to the gills on one of them and the other one had the, the what do you call it, the, the door you know, to the trash can shut, so I couldn't lift it and put the trash in, yeah, no, because I had two heavy bags, and then I had four, oh, you know, them small kitchen trash can sizes, you know, that are not very big, but I had to sort it out, because I had some wine bottles in there that needed to go and they were kind of heavy and then I throw threw away some frozen stuff that had been frozen like forever so I kind of made a dent in the freezer but the refrigerator it looks pretty good and I didn't even do the door the you know where all the your bottles of stuff so, no I was done totally done by the time I got the shelves taken care of and leaning over the bathtub and scouring on that. Yeah, no, we're done. So, we just take things in spurts and and in sections and go from there. So, that's what I did for fun yesterday. Yeah, I figured I needed to get something done. So, I got two things done. The refrigerator cleaned out and the trash taken out. So, speeding right along. Yeah. Didn't watch anything on YouTube. Not YouTube, um, Netflix or on HBO, none of that. Just didn't feel like it. I thought, now, the night before, I had this wild thought. I'd really like to work on some of my counted cross-stitch. What do you want to work on? I have no idea, said my brain. So I woke up with that idea yes yesterday. And uh, so I go digging, and I get out inspiration, and I look at it. I got out Tudor B, and I looked at it. Neither one, I was like, oh, this is just too much. No, can't do that. Then I got out Dankworth. I probably put in about 25 stitches on that and lost complete desire to do it. So, you know, they're all back in the, the crates. So I guess I'm still working on Louisa Cullimore. Is what I'm trying to tell you? Either that or Harriet's all. <sighs> I, I'm not tired of doing those. But it just seems like that's all my brain can handle this month. And I didn't want to work on a pre-stamped. So, you know, I got nothing. I don't know. The whole time I was sick, I wanted to do something. But... Once I got it in front of me, I just, it was just too much to even deal with. So, I don't know, you guys, I'm just, I'm tired of having a foggy head. I, I needed a clear head here. So, I thought, you know, this has been sitting behind me since I got it. I can't even remember, I don't even think I got a date. Do I have a date on this? Um, no. No date, but it was within the past month or so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It Sometimes it's just way too much. So we just go from here. Did I get on the wrong? I did. Nibbit. There we go. Don't think that's peach. They put pink and orange right next to each other. 
I guess, well, I don't know. I still don't know whether or not that's an orange, so we'll just kind of call it pink and just keep moving, right? I'm telling you, if this fog does not lift, and I'm still stuffed up, and the other night, I couldn't sleep worth a damn. I didn't go to bed until almost 4 o'clock, and then I was up at 7.30. I mean, it's like, what the heck? I got nothing. That was on uh, Thursday morning. So, I guess that's why I needed a nap by about 11. I don't know, guys. But I'm just trying to take it easy and not push myself and just go from there. Oh, and don't look for my daughter and I to be going anywhere like on any kind of jaunts. Well, her, let me see if I can get the right terminology, uh, CV joints, it's kind of like a U-joint in her car that we use to go up in the hills. We're not allowed to leave town. That's orders per her husband, my son-in-law, because he says they're about ready to go. And he kind of like it to last until payday on November 1st. And then he'll get them and put them in. So we've had our wings clipped, I guess is what I'm saying. And my car doesn't have enough uh, clearance to go up there. So we're not heading out in my car like that. So who knows? So, anyway, anybody got any plans for this weekend? I just wondered if anybody gets to do anything fun and exciting. I might sweep off the porch. I know that sounds like so much fun, huh? <gasps> yeah, no. I don't know, because they'll all be back. It's got all these leaves, and they're all about, they, about that same size. Right there. Yep, that's it. The one in the hole in the middle. Yep. Not very big. Yeah. All over my porch. And I just haven't got the strength. I did finally throw out all that. Uh, remember I told you I had a great big bag of uh, bird seed that I had gotten at Walmart. It was like a 20 pound bag. Well, I'd used some of it out of there. And one day I went to go get some, and about four inches down, it was nothing but shells that the mice had been into it. So I kept thinking, well, I'll just put it in a trash bag and take it to the trash with me. Nope, I just dumped it out in the yard. Screw it. Let the birds figure it out. If we have a whole crop of sunflowers up there in next summer, it'll be, you know, it'll be fantastical. Yeah. Oh, and another exciting part. Yeah, it's supposed to snow starting Sunday. So Sunday and Monday is supposed to be crappy. So, yeah. And I don't know if my son-in-law will get to my, uh, what do you call it? To my water heater or not this weekend because he may have to, uh, cut what do you call it cut wood so that they have some wood for the next three four days and he's working Friday and Friday and Saturday yeah he works Friday and Saturday now oh god it just screwed everything up so now he is off on Sunday Monday Tuesday bizarre schedule or at least until they hire somebody new so we'll see it's very nice material it's nice and lightweight it's not that thick stiffy stuff so it's just sewing right along here but no other plans for the weekend 
So if it snows, I'll, I'll take pictures. I don't know. Sometimes it says that, and then it's just totally crappy, rainy, kind of chilly, dampy all weekend. You know, it's not cold enough to snow. You know what I mean? So it'll be fun. Let the games begin. It has snowed, actually, on... Um, I almost said Thanksgiving. On Halloween. Uh, you know, a couple of years. I can remember even carting the kids around in snow. So, yeah. There has never been... I don't think they'd know what a Halloween is. My kids, that is. Where they didn't have to wear a coat or heavy clothes underneath their costumes. You know, it just seems like every place we were, it was cold and either snowing or just chilly weather, you know. They don't know how. No. And it's not been hot by any means, you know. The kids here have to wear a coat or, you know, a heavy, like, hoodie or something. But, yeah. So that's not this weekend, thank God. Because I just don't think I could take it. But not... I rarely ever get anybody here. You know. The kids all see Molly on their way through, you know, to go get the bus and stuff. But... And I usually keep her in, you know, on Halloween night. But there, there's never anybody here. And they usually have a, a trunk or treat type thing in town. I don't know that they are or aren't doing that this year. Not a clue. But I just kind of didn't volunteer for any of my services for this time. So we'll see. I went, oh, the first two, three years when I first got here, but no, no, I'm good. I don't feel like walking around, and I'm not sitting in the cold car waiting for y'all to come back, no. And they're getting a little bit bigger now. One's 12, so this is his last year of even thinking about doing this. And then my granddaughter's only like seven, ouch, seven. So, yep. All right, guys. I know we didn't get much stitching done. I was busy yapping. But I wanted to get this started, so I will just keep on moving. There's a big old area right there. I don't know what color that is. 827? There's like a... I don't know. This is a terrible picture. See how it's kind of mottled in the background? And then you got all the birds. And I couldn't tell where the damn birds... Oops, sorry probably help if I draw you out so you can see what the hell I'm talking about. It's all modeled around here. And then I couldn't tell where the dumb bird started, so I just went on and just started in a corner. It is what it is. It's all got to be stitched anyway, so what the heck. Well, thank you for joining me today, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And we'll see you next time. And thank you, Carolyn. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.